Hi everyone, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to look into the creation of infrastructure using your Terraform. Okay, so we are in day three. So we are going to deploy infrastructure using Terraform. Okay, so to do this, we need some of the Terraform commands. These are the commands that we are going to learn today. Okay, so we'll go one by one. So I've just documented here. I'm, I've not written any code here. I will do it in my Visual Studio code. So these are the things that we are going to learn today. So what are the importance of these commands? How we use it? What are the benefits? We are going to learn that in this video. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Okay. Now let's get started. Okay. So the first infrastructure that we are going to create today is a VPC amazon vpc okay so first if you want to understand how things work in terraform i would recommend you to create the same resource using your console by manual process okay when you create your vpc what are the things that you uh, require everything you will understand right let's go with vpc only as of now so here if you see it is asking for a name which is optional and it is asking for ipv4 cider block it is asking for ipv6 whether you need to provide it here and you are also providing tenancy whether it is default or dedicated right so these things you will provide and you will create your vpc in your console if you want to do the same thing using terraform it is really simple okay so for that you can take the reference from your aws vpc terraform registry documentation okay here if you see uh, they have given this one basic usage with the tags right you can copy this one and you can make use of that if you want to add additional parameters for example here if you see we are only providing I, I, cider block cider block we have spe specifying here also right here we are specifying ipv4 but here if you see if i want to specify ipv6 i don't have that option but here in console i have it but if you see there are many options here no ipv6 I, IPAM Amazon provided and IPv6 like uh, usually in the organizations we go with Amazon provided IPv6 cider block right so here also if you want that visibility what you can do is you can come down you have something called as argument reference arguments are nothing but uh, so the things that you pass on while creating the resource the uh, the important parameters that you pass while creating an infrastructure we call that as argument right here for example name is one of the argument ipv4 cider block is one of the argument cider 6 is one of the argument network border group is one of the argument right tenancy is one of the argument tag is one of the argument in the same way while coding we call that as argument not as a parameter okay here you have many different option like uh, if you want to see here we have ipv6 cider block ip uh, if you are going with uh, amazon provided uh, ipv6 cider block you can select that also right there are many things like tags you have uh, assigned generated ipv6 cider block this is one um, this one will be uh, allocated by amazon itself what, what i mean is so we selected amazon provided ipv6 block right so in the same way if you want to go with uh, you know uh, in your terraform you you want to select this one if you see here uh, assign generated ipv6 cider block it is an optional uh, you if you want you can select either uh, way it is fine right so again one more important thing here is that you need to be very careful so there are some arguments which are optional and there are some arguments which are required so required in the sense if you do not provide those arguments you will not be able to create the resources for example in uh, if you are creating a, a vpc ipv4 cider block is must and should provided right so you if you do not provide ipv4 cider block how will you create a, a vpc right so that is why it is important cider block is important for you to 
give it but uh, here in the documentation they have uh, you know specified it as optional but uh, it should be changed i don't know why it is reflecting like that in this documentation so there are many things that needs to be corrected i think uh, terraform is working on it and they will make those changes okay so these are the things that are required while creating an um, vpc and after creating the vpc what will happen is in the background you will get some uh, things right so for example let's say let us go with the default vpc and see what are the things that are there if i select this default vpc you will have some details right vpc id and all it will be uh, given to you after creating the VPC itself in the same way if you want to access those also you, it is possible by using attributes attributes means outputs you can say after creating the VPC whatever the important uh, parameters that you will get they those we call that as attribute so here if you see ARN will be generated as soon as you create an uh, resource in Amazon it will always go ahead and create an ARN in the same way id will be created vpc id you see that here right and uh, you will have the instance tenancy and these things you will get it right if you want to use it somewhere you can use these attributes also okay so these are output attributes and these are in input arguments okay so these are the th required things you need to know while creating an infrastructure okay now let us go ahead and create the infrastructure itself okay so this one uh, what i want you to do is you create a separate folder for all the uh, uh, resources that we create for example i am teaching how to create vpc today tomorrow i'll be extending uh, still more i'll be teaching how to create subnets how to create nat gateways how to associate uh, you know subnets with your route tables all those things we are going to do that in the coming lectures so create a separate folder for this one i've named it as 30 days of uh, terraform under that i am uh, going with first resource okay i'll make sure to you know uh, upload this to my uh, github repository so watch out for the github repository the link will be in the description okay so what i've done is i've created two files with the name one vpc.tf where i'll be creating vpc resource here and provider.tf you already know what is provider because you have already watched the second video that i have already dropped right so if you do not know provider means you are saying that terraform needs to interact with aws right so that is how you are trying to authenticate with aws right so let us add provider block first okay i'll just say provider okay and i'll just say aws and add this block and while giving provider if you do not know what are the arguments that you need to pass just click on control and space here you will see what are the things that you need okay so the first thing that we need to give is region right in which region you want to create the resource in i'll say us east one okay next next thing that you need to provide is profile which profile are you trying to use or which user are you trying to be right so uh, if you watch my previous video i was using terraform user right i'll use the same thing okay that's all you have to do in the provider.tf right so we are making we instead of writing all the code in the same you know uh, file what we are doing is we are just differentiating it and making a separate file for all the things that we do right so if i go ahead and do, uh, add the provider.tf and also vpc in the same file it will be a mess for you to understand like if someone comes in if they want to read the code that what we have done they need to understand it in the very first go so that is why we are differentiating these things okay so if you do not know the if you uh, you know if you want this reference document right how to create a vpc uh, using terraform this is the reference documentation that we have taken from the terraform uh, uh, documentation itself but if you want that uh, to be also available to you i'll make sure to add that okay so don't worry about this text file this contains all the things that are required for the next coming uh, videos okay now let's come here let us concentrate only on this block okay so if you see here uh, in the vpc.tf the first line 
this is very important so here we are telling terraform that we are creating the resource that is why we have specified resource here right previously we were we specified provider in the provider.tf file that means we are trying to say terraform that we are going to use aws please download aws plugin for me that is what we have done in vpc.tf we are saying terraform that i am going to create a amazon aws vpc resource that is what we have specified here resource indicates we are trying to create a resource and what resource are you creating we are creating aws underscore vpc you cannot name anything you want here it is always defined by terraform itself so aws underscore vpc is defined by terraform you cannot change that it is the name of the resource okay so it is sorry it is a resource type that you are trying to create resource type means we have many different types we have aws ec2 we have iam those things are there right so those things we will specify in the middle okay so the next thing that you are uh, seeing here it is the logical name just the logical name so uh, uh, don't think that the, whatever the name that we specify here those name will be taken to your vpc no it is not like that whatever the name that you provide here it will be used only inside this terraform you know terraform scripts right uh, let's say in case if i want to create uh, subnets in future while creating subnets i need to take the reference from vpc right i need to provide the vpc id where will i get my vpc id i need to reference this line right so that is why we added this one right so we need this logical name or the reference name you can consider okay so don't think that this name will be carried to your resource no this is just a logical name okay and it is applicable only inside the terraform file okay next we need we are passing the parameters or the arguments that we saw in the documentation already so what is the cider block that you want to use so I, i'll just say in inside uh, double quotes i'll just say 10.0.0.0 slash 16 okay so this is my side block what is the instance tenancy so if you don't understand anything right go to your console okay so console will give you lot many details so if you go to console let's click on create vpc here if you see tenancy so here we have two options one is default and dedicated see so instance tenancy you can just go ahead and by default will always go with default itself i'll specify default enable dns host names so these are required to have your dns host names so we'll try that as a we'll we'll type that as true right so if you want to see what uh, values it will take right so you can go back to your terraform documentation so enable dns right so you can search for that here okay here if you see enable dns host name it is a boolean enable or disable dns host names in the vpc default it will be false itself even if you do not mention that it will be false but if you mention it as true it will take this value that you will specify okay so assign a generated ipv6 cider block whether you want the ipv6 cider block for your vpc or not so by default this will also be false itself i have uh, gone through the documentation if you want you can go here also if you see here by default it is false so now we'll change that to true let us ask terraform to add a ipv6 cider block and the tag so you can give tags to your vpc so here we are giving name tag so here if you see while creating the resource we are adding name tag right so instead of uh, doing it in the console we are doing it in the terraform so we need to specify that here so what is the name tag that you want to give so i'll just say uh, terraform vpc okay i'll just mention terraform vpc okay so this is all you have to give to create terraform resources okay so let's save this file i'll save all of them save all okay so now to run this script what you have to do is open a terminal i'll just click on new terminal so make sure you are inside the folder that you have created if you see i am in my first resource folder right so but here in the terminal we are here right so let me change the directory to first resource 
okay i'll just say cd first resource and hit tab it will automatically fill in i'll hit enter okay now let me clear the screen so now what you have to do after creating resource after adding the provider.tf the first thing that you need to do is you need to initialize the terraform how will you do it you will just type in terraform in it hit enter so basically this is going to download all your plugins that are required to interact with aws right so it will download aws plugin for this particular folder here if you see we only have three files as of now but now if you see there is one more file that got added dot terraform so that will contain your provider information so whatever uh, provider information that you specify here it will be downloaded okay now if you see here terraform has successfully initiated it okay so that's confirmed that uh, it downloaded all the plugins that are required okay now let me clear the screen once again okay now so the next thing that you will have to do is terraform plan so i'll tell you what it is going to do i'll hit enter terraform plan basically what this terraform plan will do is it will show you here itself in the terminal so what are the resources that will be created when you execute when you actually create a resource what are the things that will be deployed into aws console right you will get the blueprint of those by running terraform plan terraform plan will not create the resource actually so it will just give you the blueprint if you see here you are getting the blueprint of whatever the things that will be created so everything that is in plus green color so that means it is going to create it if it is in red and minus symbol is there that means it is going to delete it okay so if there is one more one more thing is there uh, uh, tilde so basically if there is any changes that has been done so that thing will be appearing here okay now if you see these are the things that we are uh, creating so arn if you see here it is saying known after apply so if you know if you know aws clearly so once the resource is created you will get the arn right so that is why it is saying known after apply and assign generated ipv6 true that means we are getting the ipv6 and cider block this is the cider block that we are getting and there are a lot many known after apply that means it will be known only after you are applying and what is the name that we are giving we are giving terraform vpc right so this is the name tag that we have added and this will be created when you go ahead and apply the terraform plan so this is just a blueprint it is not going to create anything it is telling clearly it will be created these resources will be created if you apply it right so next what you can do is you can directly apply this into your aws okay so to apply there is a command called terraform apply okay if you just hit enter it will one more time give you the plan whatever we saw in the previous uh, uh, previous command so it will display once again and it will ask you for the confirmation are you sure you want to you know deploy this resource or not if you see again it is showing the same thing when we ran the terraform plan and here if you are it if you see here it is asking do you want to perform the following actions so here you can just click on uh, you just type in yes or no if you type yes it will go ahead and create the resource if if you leave that as it is it is not going to create the resource okay now i'll just say yes and i'll hit enter basically now this terraform will go ahead and create my vpc if you see here it has started creating vpc aws underscore vpc dot vpc it is in creating state so this will take some time to create the resource in your aws see if you see here apply complete resource one is added zero changed and zero destroyed now let us go back to our aws console let me go to vpc previously we were only having default vpc that is this one now we got this one right so we created this resource let's see if we have that or not ipv6 we have 
right we specified that and uh, cider if you see here this is the cider that i used in the code also right see this is the code that we used and this is the vpc id right so these things got created right so this is how you create your infrastructure using terraform right so next one more thing you need to know uh, apart from creating the resource so if you want to delete the resource there is one more option right so how do you delete the resource there is a command for that also terraform hi terraform destroy okay you need to type in terraform destroy hit enter again it will show you what are the things that it will going to destroy okay so let's wait for that So if you see here, this is saying it will be destroyed. It is not destroyed yet, but it is telling you that it will be destroying. Previously, if you remember, it was plus and it was create. Now, if you see, it is minus and it is destroy. Right? If you click or type in yes here, it will go ahead and destroy your resources. Okay? Let me type in yes. So this is going to destroy your resources in your AWS console. If you see here destroy completed okay now if you do not want this uh, if you do not want to type yes again and again what you can do is you can just type in terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve okay terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve so you are automatically approving it we, you are telling terraform that do not ask me do not prompt me to type yes go ahead and create your resources uh, without asking me in the same way if you want to do the destroy also you can do that so if you just type in terraform destroy hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve but in production it is not recommended to go with this option because it will be a huge mess if you go ahead and de destroy the resource that is already running right so be, be careful with this one when you are working in terraform all right so this is how you create your first infrastructure using terraform i hope you learned a lot in this video i know there was uh, too many things that i've covered today so if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one